you imagine Le'Veon Bell to the Eagles? Yo everybody, how you doing? King Ding back here. So we got a doozy of a rumor to talk about. An Eagles rumor going around today and we got to talk about it. Now this was first brought to King Ding Bat's attention by my man Chazzy Chaz. Shout out to you buddy. Thank you for showing me this or telling me about this. Um, he said that he was listening to 97.5. The Fanatic Adam Schefter was in on the radio talking about the possibility that the Eagles may be interested in trading for Le'Veon Bell and to keep an eye on the Eagles through this whole thing. Now, I wasn't able to go back and find the interview that he did. Maybe I could find it later. But I did do some research and look into this, and it turns out that Jason LaCanfora basically said the same thing. He said the same thing. He said that the Eagles are a sleeper to get Le'Veon Bell. Now, you're saying, how are they going to pay for Le'Veon Bell? You know how much Le'Veon Bell would cost them in a trade? Well, apparently not that much because what they're saying is, and let me explain from their perspective, they're saying that Le'Veon Bell, basically being a disgruntled player, has destroyed his value in many ways. It destroys trade value. The fact that in the locker room, the players aren't happy with him and they're kind of upset, that destroys trade value. The fact that he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year, that destroys trade value. So all these things destroy trade value. And most likely, Pittsburgh will not be able to get anything more than a second or third round pick for him. Um, they won't give him away for less because if they just let him walk at the end of the year, they'll get a third round pick in compensation. But they're not going to get a, a big first round pick. They're not going to get something like that. Teams aren't going to pay that much with a guy that's disgruntled, having problems in the locker room. And then on top of that, is going to be a free agent at the end of the year. So the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to kind of have to settle from a, for a second, third round, or second at best. Well, it turns out the Eagles have two second round picks. Okay, so the thought is that the Eagles would be interested in bringing in Le'Veon Bell because they're going to lose Ajayi, they're going to lose Sproles, and all they're basically going to have next year is Clement, and they would try to find a way to work a deal out with him. And the way they would get him in this year, according to this, this theory, is that basically they would trade Nick Foles to another team and then use that cap space money that they're now saving from trading Foles, which is like, I think like eight to $10 million, somewhere in that range, they're going to bring in Le'Veon Bell. And um, basically they're saying that the Eagles don't like having a guy, a backup, making that kind of money sit on the bench all year. Um, it's too much money. And the Eagles may try to trade Foles and then go ahead and make a trade for Le'Veon Bell. If they get compensation for Foles, they also have two second round picks. So in theory, yes, the Eagles could do that. Now, me personally, on my personal views about this situation, I think the Eagles are not going to trade for Le'Veon Bell. I don't see this happening. Um, if it was to happen, I'm not going to lie. I kind of would be very excited. I would be excited to see Le'Veon Bell with Carson Wentz and Alshon. And, and can you imagine the amount of running backs and the things that the Eagles could put on the field at the same time? Not to mention, Le'Veon Bell is one of the best running back blockers in the NFL. That always helps your quarterback. So Le'Veon Bell on this Eagles offense would make it like it would take it to the next level. There's no doubt about it. So if the Eagles did do it, I wouldn't be upset, but I don't expect it to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I still think the priority should be another wide receiver. But there's guys out there, they're so-called experts that think that the Eagles are in the running for this. And they think this fits Howie Roseman's MO. So it's interesting. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on, on this and see what the Eagles do. Um, I think it's kind of hard with too many moving parts because you want to trade Foles, then you got to trade for Bell. And there's going to be a lot of other teams 
involved? And how do the Eagles then afford to sign him to an extension next year? I don't want to give up a second round pick for a guy for half a year and then he leaves. That's not something I would do. But this is a rumor going around nonetheless. And it's interesting to talk about. It's interesting to think about. But I can't take it too seriously right now because I don't think the Eagles are in a position where they want to go spend that kind of money on Le'Veon Bell. Um, but, you know, hey, look, it, a lot of it may depend on what do they think of Corey Clement. And here's the other thing with Le'Veon Bell, I should say. You know, he's disgruntled with Pittsburgh. He, he's kind of pissed off the locker room. Is a guy like that going to come in and do that to the guys in the, our building, in our locker room? Because we don't want that either. Um, I don't know. But in terms of talent... I'm not going to lie to you. I would not be upset at all if the Eagles got Le'Veon Bell. I'd be very excited. I still don't think this is going to happen. I'll give it about a 5 to 10% chance. Even though, you know, this is a fun rumor to talk about, I enjoy these kind of talks and discussions and what ifs. Um, I don't know. You never know, I guess. You never know what Howie Roseman, you never know with the Eagles. And you know what? We'll just have to keep our eyes out and see. But my opinion, I would, I would give this like a 5 to 10% chance of even happening. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat. And tell me what you think. Would you trade for Le'Veon Bell?